Hello everyone, I'm River Fox and welcome to the channel. And today we are back on Grounded with another tutorial. And today I'm going to show you how you can get the Rotten Bee armor. It is not an armor that you can actually craft at the moment, but with these little tips you should be able to hopefully be able to venture down the anthill where you can get a set of the bee armor now first things first you are going to need to have some ant armor on in order to complete this so if you do need to work out how to do ant armor you can check in the playlist down below there is a lot of videos coming out and if it's not already out now then it will be coming out very soon and that will show you how to get the ant armor now you are also going to need to have some torches it is a good idea to probably have two or three torches depending on how well and how easy you manage to find it down the ant cave. Now, once you have equipped yourself with all of those things, what you are going to need to do is you do need to come over to this di uh, direction, which I'm marking on the map, and you will find the ant hill. Now, as long as you do not attack any ants in the ant hill, then they will not attack you as long as you're wearing your ant armor. So you can quite freely come down here and if you've got lots of torches, you can spend quite a bit of time coming down. Now, as you do go down the ant hill, you will come to sort of a crossroads where you can go left or right. So initially you want to go down the left tunnel and it is quite long and winding and it will be sort of sloping down hill. Now, if you take the left cave and follow that down and you will hit some water now if it is your first ever time coming down the ant hill then you will also get some um, research points in the water but if you dive down into the water dive through and it will take you out through the other side so keep following around that and you will eventually come to this cave now in this cave you will find some skeletons and next to those skeletons is some bee armor this is the first part of the armor now there are three parts that you can get so you are going to need to find the other two now if you head out of this cave it's like all these red sort of um fungi that is growing through it and you will find a big cave then now make sure you don't fall through the hole in the floor if you do it's going to drop you straight back down to the bottom where you first started and you will have to go through again now it can be it can be quite difficult sometimes try to navigate through and and finding where you actually want to be in the cave but generally as long as you keep going it, around and taking you know the different turns as you get to them then you will eventually find the different parts that you need and in in this cave here there is also a second skeletons and there will be the second part of your bee armor so that is part two so once you've collected that one if you head out of here and you're going to be heading now towards the right hand side and this is going to start sort of fetching you back up again and back out towards where you came from now uh, if you keep on coming you will then get to this big cave with the hole in the floor and this time you will now need to fall down the hole basically and right in the corner you will find a scarb a scab so you need to pick that up and on the opposite side of that as well you will then find a third set of skeletons with your last and final piece of the bee armor and then all you need to do is make sure that you do get out alive so that you don't have to venture back down there again now in order to get back out of the anthill all you need to do is just follow the tunnels and make sure that they are going up hill if you find yourself that you are going and you are going downhill then you are more than likely going in the wrong direction so you need to turn around and start heading back up 
it can get really confusing sometimes and I, I got lost even making on this video. So it, it can really get you lost, which is why I advise to take a good few torches with you just to be on the safe side. Because if your torches do run out and you are stuck down the anthill, then you are never gonna find your way back out to there. So make sure you do take some torches with you. Make sure that you do follow the course all the way back up to get outside. Now the anthill uh, show on the map again, just in case you do need it. This is where the anthill is and you can always come down here. Now, when they do spawn and later on in the game, you are gonna need to search for ant eggs. And that big cave that we were in just now, that is the cave that you will find those eggs in. So always a good idea, probably to, to make a, a bit of a marker here, just so that you do know where it is later on. But that is your bee armor. Now. Once you do equip and put on the bee armor, then this is what it will look like. And yeah, it is a really useful armor. Now, as I say, at the moment, you're not able to craft and make your own bee armor. So it is advisable that you do keep this safe try and keep it repaired whenever needed. At some point there is going to be a update where we will be getting bees in the game and probably from then we will then be able to make bee armor. But for now, this is the only bee armor that you can get. So I hope you do find this video useful. If you do, don't forget to hit that like down below, smash that subscribe before you go, turn the notification bell on. You'll always get updated on my content when it comes out. Now you can check out the playlist, which is in the description down below that will cover all of my grounded tips videos. So do make sure you check that out. And if you have the time, pop over to one of my live streams over on Twitch. I do live stream grounded as well as my other Save the World game. So do come and pop over there one day and hopefully I will see you there but until then i hope you have a lovely day and stay safe my friends